Director is Charlton DeSouza. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Charlton DeSouza. I'm the uh, president of Passengers United. And my concern has to do with the overnight uh, subway service closure and the fact that there is no proper bus service. Uh, many express bus routes like the X68, um, the QM6 has been cut. So what I would like to know is why is it for the last two months I have been back and forth communication with the MTA and have received very little to no response about having the Long Island Railroad cross on a, at all Zone 3 stations overnight from at least 12.30 to about 5 a.m. So many people are being impacted. And what I don't understand is you guys are paying $41 to put people in a cab overnight. But why not just cross on at all Zone 3 stations? The way the system works now, if you get on the railroad at Penn Station, you have to get off at Jamaica and take a bus. You're not allowed to stay on the train. You have to pay $3.50, or you have to pay up to a $12 fine. This makes no sense. And also, my other concern has to do with the lack of bus service. But uh, I'm also very upset with Sarah Feinberg, because a lot of people on the subway are not wearing masks. And every day I have to tell people to put their masks on. This is ridiculous. And, you know, we lost over 145 transit workers who have passed away and died. And I feel that, you know, New York City Transit has to get the police involved. If necessary, bring in the state troopers, bring in the National Guard, or have teams of volunteers on trains giving out masks and bringing the compliance rate up to 100%. Because right now, the compliance rate is like 65 to like 60%. And you're putting your employees in danger. You're putting the passengers in danger. It's not right. Everyone should have a mask on in the train. There should be hand sanitizer. And most of all, the homeless on the trains should have a mask on. Or they should be on the Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our next speaker will be Lisa Daglian. Greetings. I'm Lisa Dagley, an executive director.